Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS Experience for Thursday, March 24th. We got a five-game slate. Video is a little late. We're going to dive right in. John Morant, slate's dependent on if he plays or not. So keep an eye on that. Garland, 97. Um, I love to roster him. Today won't be any different. Absolutely in play. Booker, should be a close, tight game. Phoenix and Denver, play him. McCollum, looks like DeRozan is out. Um, if you play in multiple lineups, you can place McCollum in 5%, 10%. Alliburton, looks like Brogdon is back. You might want to play him maybe 5%. Don't play them both together. Make a rule. Play one or the other. If you're feeling spicy, play both. But I'd stick to one or the other. Memphis is a good team. Memphis is probably, right now, my favorite to go to the finals. I like them better than Golden State. I like them better than Phoenix. Because their bench is a, literally another starting lineup. But that's another conversation. Drew Holiday going to be the most old guard. No Giannis. Uh, play him. 20% of your lineups, 15, 20. Um, Chris Paul might be back. That throws another monkey wrench into things, but Chris Paul is a player that he doesn't need ramping up, coming back from injury. He's a big assist guy, steal guy, you know. So If he plays and he's not on the minutes limit, you can play him. Brogdon, play him or Halliburton. One or the other is fine. If Chris Paul is back, the campaign is useless. Graham, he's alright. Nothing special. Levert, if he's off of a minutes limit, you could play him. Bones Island coming off the bench, 52. <sighs> not really for me, but not the worst play in the world. Mountain, if there's no Morant, fine play. Mars starting at 46 seems like a better play. So, Cruz is in play. I like AO if he starts. We know DeRozan, but if not, just keep it to uh, Levine and Cruz. So that's, e that's even if that's even if Levine plays. If Levine doesn't play, then you can start digging into the um, the role players like AO or. Keep it to Vooch, Levine, and Caruso. Tyus Jones, you already know what it is. If Morant doesn't play, you play Jones. I'll leave it like that. It's going to be more than enough value then, and then have to come down here and uh, dig in the trash. So. Van Fleet's in play. Well, Levine is not questionable, so Levine, Pooch, and Caruso should be when you target. If Ingram is back, it's on a minute on a minute's limit. They should be able to keep this game close with Chicago. Chicago lost a lot of their edge, not as good as they were earlier, so they're right for the pickings for the Warners to keep that game a little bit close. Bain is in play. Bain is in play with Morant, so he's more in play without Morant. So Trent's in play if he plays. Dylan Brooks, never met a shot he ain't like. He's always in play. KCP, no Kuzma, I believe. He's in play. Will Barton, 51. He's in play. Melvin off the bench. I think I said that he's in play. Uh, Optimizers seem to love Oblia. I don't. Um, 47. His, his, his ceiling is like 30, 32. At 47, you'll find better plays. I want to be honest with you. When you learn how to 
when you learn how to take certain things from an optimizer and ignore others, then that's when you start to hit that next tier of winning in, in NBA DFS. If you run an optimizer and leave it as is, you're probably gonna lose. You should you you should you should take an optimizer, run it, and use it for the value. That's what you should do. And and hand build your team from there. It's kinda hard to explain, but you gotta you gotta have a little mixture of both optimizer and hand building. And you gotta learn when a play is bullshit and when it's legit value. That's gonna be the hardest part of this. If you're a veteran DFS player, you understand what I'm saying. If you're a new if you're a new DFS player, I suggest you hand build your lineups. Because if you're losing a lot, you're probably running crunches and not scoring enough points. But that's another conversation. Um, Duarte. I'm good on Duarte. There's enough guys on, on Indiana that are good for fantasy. Then to play, then to stick Duarte in your lineup. Caruso's in play. Grace now is still not in play for me. With no middle chain and no Giannis. That's just me. If you want to play Allen, if you want to play Grayson Allen, if he starts, he's a decent play. If he doesn't start and you still want to play him, enjoy. Um, Okaro, bad fantasy player, plays a lot of minutes. Kispert, bad fantasy player, might start. Jetty. Jetty's inconsistent. Listen, the rest of this is trash. If somebody down there starts, you want to play them? Listen, play them. Barnes, Bar Scotty Barnes is in play. Marketing is in play. He's not good, but he's in play. Bridges, if there's no Paul, you can play Bridges. If Herbert Jones start, you want it. If you want to play him and there's no um, Brandon Ingram, not the worst player in the world. Cam Johnson might be back. A lot of people coming back for Phoenix. Pay attention. O'Shea Brissett and play. Jay Crowder. If everybody's healthy, I'm off of Jay Crowder. His usage goes down expeditiously. And Gordon in play. And Brandon if Ingram is back, no Murphy. I don't like Connington. I don't like Connington because you have somebody called Jordan Nora. So that's your value. How many value pieces do you need? One or two. Siakam's in play, Porzingis is in play. This is my this is gonna be the game where everybody plays Porzingis. And he slips on his shadow, goes into the locker room, and never comes back. He's gonna be out for the season, so pay attention to Porzingis. You never get him playing three, four, five games in a row with no with no with no drama. So this is the game. Watch it. Porzingis headed to the locker room. Jaron Jackson Jr. is, he's overpriced. He's not, he's not, he's not what he pretends to be. He pretends to be a, a high value power forward and he's not. He's a, he's an okay power forward. He's an okay fantasy producer. He's overpriced. He should be 5,900. He never hits value. He's a fraud, to be honest with you. Bobby Porter's with Noyana, he's in play. Kevin Love's in play. Isaiah Jackson, he's another one. Goes in the locker room, doesn't come back. I swear to God, my phone went off last night. It said Isaiah Jackson headed the rock locker room because he has a headache. I had to look at it again. I looked at it and I stared at it to make sure I was reading correctly. Isaiah Jackson headed to the locker room for headache. He never came back. Okay. All right. Okay. Jalen Smith, if he's healthy, if he starts playing. If Goga starts, you play him. He was money last night.
you want to take a shot at Brandon Clark, Hashimura, have at it. Brandon Clark is a better fantasy producer. I think that's about it. I'm not looking for no surprises. I'm not playing Donis, Donasis. I'm playing Jordan Nora. I'm only playing starters. I'm not. We're at the end of the season now where teams are experimenting. So if you fuck around and play somebody off the bench, they may or may not play. You know what I'm saying? You play a starter, at least you know they're going to play. So, you know, you can either take my advice or you can do what you want to do. But I suggest for the rest of the season, you keep it tight. You understand what I'm saying? Keep it tight, nice and tight. All right, Jokic is in play. Valanciunas. Vooch. Vooch is in play with all the Rosen. Aiton's in play, but going to be, you know, not as important with everybody coming back. Steven Adams. They don't keep him in the game if they don't need to. 28 minutes, 32 fantasy points. Not bad. That's like 5.5 times value. He's alright. Goga 4900. If there's no if there's no Mr. Headache, Isaiah Headache Jackson, then you can play Goga. Achua, you know how I feel about those wings and bigs on Toronto. There's a lot of them. Brook Lopez is in play. Brook Lopez is in play. People don't like playing Brook Lopez because. He looks like a goofball, but I'll tell you this. Four or five blocks in a game, yeah, you'll be seeing green at 4,300. So, you take my advice or do what you want to do. All right, let's get this going. <clears throat> let's get this going. Um, we're going Giannis. Be honest. We're going Jokic. We're going Portis. We're going Nora. Now these are the five guys. These are five guys that I like. So um, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, Bane. Now, keep in mind, if John Morant is in, everything changes, okay? You got to be flexible, and you can't be lazy playing DFS. You got to you gotta pay attention to the, to, the, to the news, and that last 30 minutes before lock is like a whirlwind like it was last night. If you set your lineup and you don't change it before lock, you're, you lose. You lose, you're lazy, and you're a failure. If you're at work and you can't get to it, that's one thing. That's fine. Understandable. But if you just set your lineup and you don't go back to it and all this news dropped and you don't want to adjust your lineup, you're going to lose. And if you wonder why you're losing, that's why. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm sorry that it has to come out this way, but my job is to make sure that you stop losing and you start winning. Okay? So that's all I got to say about that. So, I'm picking my five guys that I like with Morant not playing. Hold on, let me see something. Because the way the community works. Alright. His knee. Da, 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 da. Alright, he may not play. But, I'm going to make this lineup with John Morant out. So, what I'm trying to say is, let's say John Morant does play. And people play my lineup, or people play the five guys that I like. Then they get in the comments, oh, your picks are shit. No, no, no goofball. You didn't listen to the news and adjust your lineup. So, <clears throat> let's make this very clear. Jokic, Portis, Nora. Now, I already have a plan for Garland. May not be, may not be with Jokic. It may not be with Jokic and Portis. But I'm playing Garland tonight. I like Garland.
Garland, I like Brooks, I like Nora, I like Portis, I like Jokic. You may find value to leave this 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 in the team. That's not what I'm looking to do. Because I'm looking for forty fantasy points from every spot. That's what I'm looking for now. You see those you see those uh those scores last night? Alright. You can't you know people question me when I say I look for six times value. But if you're getting five times value, you're not gonna win. You're not even gonna come close to winning. I'm looking for 40, 40 points from every spot. What's so hard about that? Why can't I want 40, 40 points from every spot, especially on FanDuel? You play around on FanDuel, and you get a 30 out of one spot, you lose. Everybody needs to hit 40 or more. We need to start changing the way we think and the way we play this game if you want to win. Scores in the 400s plus. So y'all play around. Y'all play around on DFS and keep losing y'all money. Garland, Brooks, Nora, Portis, Jokic. Alright, we're going we're going to listen, we're gonna make this quick. This video is late. If you're new here, subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up. We don't got time to play around. Um I'm not even gonna mention Patreon because it's the end of the month. If you need help with up to date lineups, I got a day pass, I got a week pass, DM me on Twitter and we'll get you going. Let's continue with this video. Point guard. Garland, my man, 9,500. Morant, if he plays, he's 91, but his, <clears throat> his knee hurts. So, you want to play a hurt player? I don't know. That's up to you. Do what you want to do. Back to Drew Holiday. Um, Drew's going to be highly popular, as he should be. But I'm not going to have him in every lineup. But um, he's a very good player, especially on FanDuel. Drew, I'm not Drew, Van Fleet, he's fine, Halliburton, Brogdon, Campaign, if Paul plays, Campaign is useless, like I said, Alvarado is priced very high, <clears throat> he had one fifty one point game against Houston, and he probably started that game, I'm not playing Alvarado, Mountain off the bench, Hot Highland, um, Melton should be better if there's no Morant, and Highland is hit or miss because it depends how the team is going. Tyus Jones is in play. Monte Morris is in play, and you want to play? You want to pay 3,800 for Kobe White? You want to take a shot on him? Have at it. Not the end of the world. Booker, prefer no Paul. McCollum's in play. McCollum looks amazing. Baines in play. Halliburton, Levine, Trent, Brooks, KCP, Buddy Hill. Playing Justin Hall, Justin Anderson last night. I'm playing Justin Anderson. Oh, I'm playing Justin Anderson. Twenty fantasy points, goofballs. Stop watching Arsenal.com. Let's go. Um, what we have here? More nothing. Caruso's in play. Barton's in play. If Ao starts, you can take a shot. Javante Green, he be hitting value. I don't know how. Well, he hasn't done it lately, but he be in a lot of winning lineups. Well, he doesn't hit value. He be in a lot of winning lineups. And don't at me on that one. I I I watch. I review lineups every night. He be in a lot of winning lineups. Um, that's about it. I'm gonna take a shot on Contrair. <clears throat> be my guess. Scotty Barnes is in play. Mikael Bridges, if there's no Paul, no John Cam Johnson, have at it. Mark Markinen, you want to take a shot, have at it. Per se, in, in play. Avdia at 5900, you want to take a shot, have at it. Connington, if he starts, have at it. That's not for me, though. 
Lance Stevenson, you want to take a shot? Have at it. Barton, in play. <clears throat> he ain't very good, but he's in play. Listen, in a five game slate, right? You got a five game slate. You got Giannis out, you got Middleton out. You got Morant might be out. That's all your value you need. You don't if, if if Morant plays, you still have all the value you need. So let's not overthink this and let's make it simple. That's that's the thing. That's all I want to tell you guys. Um Siakam, Porzingis, Barnes, Mobley. Jaron Jackson looks better at 66 on FanDuel. Jackson Hayes is okay. I prefer Ingram to be out. Boucher is a decent play. Love is okay. Brandon Clark is okay. Bobby Portis is locked in on FanDuel. And Gordon is okay. That's it. No need to come down here to the Tyler Cooks and the J. Michael Greens and all that. Anthony Gills. I, I, like, I'm not going to lie to you. You see this guy right here? Like, three years ago, when Anthony Gill used to spot start, awesome.com, but you play Anthony Gill. Play Anthony Gill. Lock him in. And this man used to play 32 minutes and give you two fantasy points. Yo, that used to get me good. I got time today. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't never tell no lies. Let's continue. Um... Yo, kids, lock him in. Val Junis is okay. DeAndre Ayton is okay at 68. Vooch, no DeRozan at 6,700. He looks uh, magnificent. Uh, Goga. Goga looks magnificent also. Steven Adams looks fine at Steven Adams at 5,100. You got to get pieces to him. You understand? Brooke Lopez, get pieces to him. A lot of value here today, so that's it. No need to no need to continue. Um, where do we start? Brook Lopez, Giannis, Giannis, Jokic. Um, let's see something. Just wanna see. Just wanna see how many of my favorite pieces I can get. I don't know. I don't really like these bigs too much. I really don't. either but you don't really got that many choices you got garland holiday bane the power forward no just small forward too stop playing all right so we do Nora and then we do no, I'm not playing I'm not playing um, Jaron Jackson anymore. You got Garland, Holiday, Nora, Mobley, Jokic. Now, that's five guys that I like. I kind of like Mobley, but there's not that many choices. I'm not, I may not play this in a complete lineup unless it's crazy value, but these are five guys that I like. And I have to 
you know, mention that because there's going to be the people that want to take the lineup, play it, not get the correct value, lose, and then jump in my DMs talking crazy. But guess what? I got time today, so fuck around if you want. You know what I'm saying? Listen, good luck to you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Last night was stupid crazy, but whatever. And I'll be back with the Yahoo video. Y'all hang tight.